Hello, everyone. My name is Clara Tao. This is Megan Kilman, and together with Marta Belcher, we make up the management committee that run the Filecoin Foundation. Today, we are standing in the Convent de Beato, which was a center of centralized religious knowledge back in the 15th century. And with the rise of decentralized services like Gutenberg's printing press, knowledge was decentralized. And here we are gathered today to decentralize knowledge on the Filecoin network um, to preserve the integrity of today's web. And so since the beginning of the Filecoin network, it was envisioned that Filecoin would have a governance body called the Filecoin Foundation that was modeled similarly to other open source foundations like Mozilla or the Linux Foundation. And the goal of the Filecoin Foundation is to empower the long-term sustainability of the Filecoin network and to make sure that it is fair and has adequate governance for all the builders in our community. We also have a sibling charitable nonprofit arm called Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web, uh, which is working to preserve and uplift all other decentralized services on the web today. As you can see behind me here, um, we are here in Lisbon and we are hosting a ton of events. You may have already seen some in the schedule this week. And we have an incredible events team and an incredible community that have worked so hard to make these events happen. Earlier this year, we launched the Filecoin Orbit program, which includes over 70 ambassadors all around the world that have hosted over 57 events across 20 cities. We also um, will be um, sh sharing a bunch of photos up here from other events throughout the year, including Davos. Um, we have here Filecoin Singapore that just happened. We will have photos for Filecoin Lisbon and also Filecoin Austin that took place earlier this year on the backbone of consensus. And of course, we hope all of you guys will stay October 30th through November 4th for our activities at Filecoin Lisbon and also Web Summit. Our mission, as mentioned before, at the foundation is to preserve humanity's most important information. And one thing that I'm so excited to share is we just announced an initiative called the Public Data Commons to really preserve humanity's most important public open data and also government data sets. Earlier this year, we worked with the city of New York and their former CTO to upload a number of uh, open data sets onto the Filecoin network. And just last week, we announced a partnership with Internet Archive on their Democracies Library Initiative, which we'll hear about more later this week, which is to upload even more open data sets on Filecoin. We are so excited to do this and much more. Oh, one click too far. There we go. Uh, there we go. Great. One of our most exciting projects, one of the projects I am personally most excited about, is a partnership between the Filecoin Foundation and Lockheed Martin to put IPFS into space. IPFS, of course, stands for the Interplanetary File System. And it has always been part of the vision for this technology that it could operate in areas with low connectivity over long distances. Today's centralized internet wouldn't work in space because you have to draw data from a location-based area on Earth. In fact, if you were on the moon, just imagine it, every time you click, data would have to be retrieved from a centralized server on Earth with a multi-second delay. As someone who nearly caused an international incident uh, with slow data speeds on my flight yesterday, I can tell you how much this would not work. <laughs> uh, with the IDFS, the data doesn't have to go back to Earth. Um, it would draw from the source that is closest to it because it is drawing from the content, not the location. It would eliminate the delay, and we're super thrilled that the Filecoin Foundation is partnering with Lockheed Martin to make IPFS part of the infrastructure for the future of the space economy. Two other programs that I'm very excited about is the Filecoin Foundation, as the long-term stewards of the Filecoin network. Um, have two programs that are really vital to the long-term health uh, and growth of the network. Filecoin Plus is a program organized by the Filecoin Foundation that helps incentivize the storage of real useful data sets on the network. And today, the Filecoin Foundation is responsible for bringing on more than 150 petabytes of data onto the network. 
The Filecoin Foundation is also responsible for facilitating the governance structure of the Filecoin network. So we do this through the Filecoin Improvement Proposal System, FIPS, and also the uh, FRCs, the uh, Filecoin Request for Comments. And this system allows anybody in the network, anybody in the Filecoin community, to participate in changes to the core protocol. The Filecoin Foundation has also been growing. We've grown exponentially over the last two years. We now have more than 50 full-time staff. And in addition to our staff, we have a completely amazing board of advisors and directors. Just a few of the people involved, um, Brian Balendorf, who wrote Apache, Kristen Smith, who's the executive director of the Blockchain Association, Joe Lubin, one of the co-founders of Ethereum, Brewster Kale, founder of the Internet Archive, uh, Nicole Wong, former CTO of the United States under the Obama administration. We've been incredibly thrilled to bring in such a fantastic group of people to the Filecoin network to work with the Filecoin Foundation. On behalf of myself, Clara, Marta, and the whole Filecoin Foundation team, we're super thrilled to be here, and we can't wait to see you at Phil Lisbon.